Institute for Israel and Jewish Studies here at Columbia is our central home for uh, discussing the best that's been thought and said about Jewish life, history, literature, and culture uh, over the thousands of years of Jewish existence, and talking about Israel in all of its diversity, nuance, variety, and complexity. I wanted to do a program that gave me a deeper knowledge of Judaism. The Institute has really helped me to continue to broaden my intellectual horizons and to get feedback and different opinions from you know, some of the smartest, best scholars in the field. One of the things that's really helpful about the Institute is they have a good sense of the resources that are out there for students. We want to provide courses that are of interest, that are challenging, that are reflecting the, the most up-to-date developments in research and teaching. Through my work and involvement with IJS, I've learned that one of the great benefits of academia is the ability to not only learn inside a classroom setting, but to transcend the classroom with a community of like thinkers and then address them in an academic way, in a serious academic way. They bring in different speakers that are related to different aspects of like Israeli or like Jewish life. So that could be people who wrote books about like the Israeli-Palestinian conflict or about like water conservation. Um, really like a whole range of topics. We try and create programs that are not part of courses or part of faculty seminars that really take these matters of Jewish studies interest and of Israel interest and bring it out uh, so that the general public can see what we do here and learn. Showing the depth and breadth of Israeli cinema to the, the larger Columbia community is, is both a necessary sort of cultural imperative, but it can also help start some conversations. We have all sorts of very exciting and vibrant programming that, that takes place uh, throughout the semester. Sometimes it can be a public lecture with a leading figure from Israeli culture, Israeli literature, or members of the press or think tanks who are giving us the latest analysis and information uh, about Israeli politics and society. One thing that's unique about doing Jewish studies is that people come into it with a whole wide range of backgrounds and levels of knowledge and information and education. Studying Jewish studies in an academic setting is really a way to bring all those different people together so that they're talking about the same kinds of subjects, they're filling in gaps in their knowledge. Judaism doesn't necessarily need to be approached um, just from a theological, religious, philosophical level, that there's just so much richness. The more I got to know Columbia in general, the more I, I came to realize that this model of having an institute that draws on all of the different departments, uh, the undergrads, the graduate students, the professors from across the university is much more productive. One of the things that has been the result of all of this growth and all of this success is that quite frankly we've grown out of our current space. Columbia's administration and Columbia's very very generous supporters have understood that uh, our success needs room to breathe and to grow and have helped us to create and build a new space in central campus uh, in which Israel and Jewish studies uh, can continue to flourish for decades to come. The idea isn't to teach students to, you know, actually stand aside from uh, their Jewish identity, but it's to get them to step out for a second to look at it and understand what's making it tick and actually try to understand what it really is and what's involved. Uh, not as a way of getting them to lessen their commitment, but as a way to get them to understand their commitment. As I go forward, this is the kind of community model um, that I hope not only to work in, but to be a part of. Mm -hmm.